one second of grace is real. Everybody here has had the issues that are being dealt with in the show, or currently has those issues. It really opens the audience's eyes and, you know, they can sit back and be like, wow, like, I could be changing someone's life by saying the wrong thing. When I was in middle school and high school, I struggled with body image issues, and I've always been stick thin and super tall. Uh, for me, it has a big meaning because I have anxiety disorder. on stage is just like, it's something I've never seen before at a place to be. I play Nellie, um, and Nellie is, um, she struggles with a lot. She struggles with um, bulimia. By the way, have you feeling up recently? Uh, nope. <laughs> Three weeks. No, good for you. Yeah. Um, I mean to tell you, you look good. Like you're doing something. I, I don't know what it is. We are the archetypes. We are portraying the archetypes of these disorders. Especially me being, you know, an Asian American in a very white community that I live in. Um, it's good that I know that I could show people that color doesn't matter in theater. I haven't come across a scenario where love gives you all the stars in the moon. Thing about the show is that we're throwing it at you right in front of your face and we're not sugarcoating it we're not making it fluffy and pretty we're saying this is how it is this is what is felt this is the real thing I have a scene where I cut on stage and I came off of stage feeling sick to my stomach because I got so immersed in the emotions of it I know that it's wrong, but it feels so right Like trying to fight before I break For God's sake, what will it take? When I was a little kid, I was surrounded by people who just said it's not a big deal about everything. Which doesn't really help anything because what people really need to do is talk about their problems, not just shove it under the bus because that never helps. And it's a lot of stuff that if we're not necessarily going through ourselves, we don't know how to handle it. Being in high school now, I can really take my experiences from that and put it into this character in the show, which enhances the show even more. One day, everything merges. It's changed me a lot. Um, I go through my own personal struggles, as does everyone on the cast. And not only was um, going through this production um, sort of therapy in its own, but it was very helpful to just know that I was giving something back to the community. Even if you don't have any of the problems, you know someone who does. I can't help. You know what else is hilarious and cute? A monkey at the circus and nobody looks at a circus monkey and thinks, oh yeah, I can't wait to make sweet love to that. There's a lot of parts to kind of the personal experience of kids that adults don't hear and maybe a lot of high schoolers don't actually talk about. And if, if you can know how to deal with them and like tell them how to get help or anything like that, that's what's important. 
But there are a lot of other things you have to worry about, a lot of other complications. There are venereal diseases. Things have changed greatly since your mom and I first had sex. Okay, Dad. I think the one song that really hit me was the, the gay song, um, since I can also relate to that. I'm a man, you're a man. Not what my family planned. Herbs, the perfume, the bouncy breasts, and all the things guys like the best. You're actually doing something for people like you who go through the same stuff, deal with the same issues. Because when you're struggling, you can't talk to people. You're like, oh my god, they're gonna judge me. They're not gonna understand. It's not happy and light and fluffy. But if we make it so that it's a little bit easier to talk to your friends about it or your parents or someone you trust, a lot less people will hurt themselves or kill themselves because they can feel comfortable talking about the uncomfortable things. Oh, one second you can